In Lambert's Bay on the west coast of South Africa is Bird Island, one of only six sites in the world where Cape Gannets breed. It's a bird watcher's paradise. Welcome back to our channel. At between 33 and 37 inches in size, the Cape Gannet is an easily identified seabird because of its large size and unique blue eyelid. What you see in the distance over the breakwater is Bird Island. Bird Island is almost three hectares in size. It is an important breeding and roosting site for numerous seabirds, particularly Cape Gannets and various species of cormorants and terns. Cape fur seals can also be seen here, sunning themselves on the rocks at the edge of the island. There is a bird hide on the island. It is perfectly situated, offering visitors a rare opportunity to see the Cape Gannets up close. Without disturbing them, one can watch their activities firsthand and learn more about the colony's habits. The Cape Gannet is strictly a marine bird. Within its normal range, Cape Gannets are restricted to the continental shelf at no more than 100 kilometers from the coast. There are three offshore breeding sites like this one found in South Africa. The total breeding population of Cape Gannets is around 150,000 birds, with 88% occurring in South Africa. The rest occur in Namibia, further up the west coast of Africa. It's estimated that this colony is between six and 8,000 breeding pairs. When not breeding, the range of the Cape Gannet extends from the coastal waters of the Gulf of Guinea on the west coast of Africa, all the way to Mozambique on the eastern coast of Africa. As you can see, Cape Gannets have white plumage with black tails, black wing edges and wing tips. Their crowns and the back of their necks are yellow in color and they have a very distinctive black line marking around their eyes and beak. Their beaks are pointed and are pale blue in color. Like most seabirds, Cape Gannets eat fish. They have fine serrations close to the tip of their bills which help them catch fish. They plunge and dive from great heights into the ocean and grab their prey, which is usually sardines and other shoaling pelagic fish, such as pilchards. As a matter of interest, they eat around 300 grams of fish per day, which is about an eighth of its body weight. When diving for fish, these large seabirds can hit the water at speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. Because they enter the water with such force, they have no external nostrils into which water can be forced. With a wide wingspan of 68 to 73 inches, Cape Gannets are very powerful flyers and glide the air thermals, frequently flapping to accelerate their flight. They are generally quiet at sea, however, <laughs> as you can hear, when in colonies, they will emit a rasping call to communicate with their mates. Very elaborate mating rituals are performed at the nest. Some of these that can be seen in this video are bill scissoring, bowing, sky pointing, and mutual preening. The Cape Gannet breeding season begins around August, September time and can last until the following April. Like most gannets, males and females stay together over several breeding seasons. When nesting materials are scarce, eggs will be laid on the bare ground. The female Cape Gannet typically lays a single egg around October, which is pale blue in color. Both the male and female share incubation of the egg using their webbed feet wrapped around the egg. Incubation lasts around 40 to 46 days and the chick is a fledgling at the ripe old age of 97 days old. The chick is cared for by both parents until this time and then it can go out to sea and forage for itself. Did you know that the Cape Gannet is listed as vulnerable with numbers declining due to its small breeding range? Over exploitation of its prey by human fisheries compounded by pollution, is causing a continuous decline in the Cape Gannet's ability to forage. Other threats include natural predators such as the great white pelican, who is a significant threat to the Gannet's chicks. 
It's quite mesmerizing to watch these birds. Once you understand their mannerisms, you look out for them and it becomes a hive of very different activity. Thanks for watching. We hope you will subscribe to our channel Ultimate Safari for future content.